Who good day all. You get good. And it's a porch pondering. It is Friday. TGIF. Oh, TGIF. Uh, and it's a beautiful day. And I'm preparing for my trip to BC with my boys. My two sons, my 31-year-old, and my 8-year-old, and me. So we're going to have a great trip. It's only a three-day trip. One day driving. One day there. One day driving back. But we need the break. And today's pondering is brought to you. I'm in a hurry. I got lots to do. TB Tunes, thanks for asking. He asked me to talk about low shelf, medium shelf, and top shelf marijuana. And what's my thoughts on each? And would I ever buy bottom shelf? And what are the differences? So let me tell you. Your top shelf is your best buds. The, this is right at the beginning of the harvest. This is all the best of the flowers, the biggest, not the popcorn buds, that kind of stuff. Although some of the popcorn buds look great, so they might get joined in. Top shelf is top shelf. It's really, really good medicine. At MMJ, we put the top shelf on sale almost every Friday at $8 a gram. Uh, which is fantastic. It's normally 12. Mid shelf is still really good medicine. Mid shelf is when you're talking mostly the popcorn buds, bit of broken up stuff, just not as pretty, but, but usually just as high in THC, just as worth the price, just a little less pretty it is as far as I'm concerned. We at MMJ put on the mid shelf strains three of them on sale mostly every tuesday for seven dollars a gram then there's the bottom shelf at mmj they're ten dollars a gram bottom shelf is not crap people just need to understand it's more the shake it's the bottom of the bag it's lots of small broken buds and sometimes just pieces of buds and lots and lots of the really small popcorn buds is it ever worth buying? It's 100% worth buying, and I buy it. I buy bottom shelf. I buy the, I, I don't even like calling it that. It's not negative. It's just a description of what it looks like. It's still high in THC. It just doesn't look as good, and it doesn't roll as good, and doesn't squish as good when you're doing rosin and stuff like that. But for edibles, why pay $12 a gram? for beautiful flour that you're just going to grind up and make edibles out of. If you're making edibles, it's the bottom shelf. Go for the bottom shelf. You're still going to get your high THC out of it. You're still going to suck at uh, the terpenes and whatever you need out of it, however you're making your edibles. But you wouldn't make edibles with top shelf. I wouldn't make... I would make rosin out of all three shelves. I really don't think that I would use my best buds for shatter if I was making shatter. I don't think I would because when you're pushing the THC out of something, it doesn't matter if it's a, a bunch of sugar leaf or, or if it's uh, buds, you're going to get a really good amount of THC. So. I think it's mostly, and we can talk below, but I think it's mostly the look that puts it into these categories. The THC levels, yes, on shake it's going to be a little less because you just don't have the interior part of the bud where all the beautiful uh, um, uh, <laughs> trichomes are. And as, but also remember this, in a bag, the shake at the bottom also has all the THC that has fallen from the buds when you're handling them at the top. So it isn't that bad. It just isn't that bad. Great for rolling, uh, especially today where you don't have seeds and stems in your, in your bags, because boy, oh boy, we sure used to. So that's my medium top bottom shelf talk. I hope you liked it. Peace and cheers, love and harmony. I won't be back till probably mid next week, Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, so please 
go back on some videos. Check out some of my old stuff. I'd appreciate it. But if not, we'll see you next week. Peace and cheers, friends. Love and harmony. Have a great weekend.